All right, gonna do a little update on my rain catchment system or rain containment, rain barrel, whatever you call it. Want to call it? But uh, in I had put a little bit of water in here when I first installed it, just out of the faucet, just. When I was rinsing it out and cleaning it out, I went ahead and just stuck the hose pipe in there and maybe filled it up to about right here, just so there was already some water in there. And, and plus, being it was tap water, it had a little bit of chlorine in it. So I thought that that little touch of chlorine in there as I got rainwater in it would probably help, you know, keep it from going uh, stagnant, you know, if I didn't use it too quick. Um, but it's went, get back far enough. Like I said, I had it about right here, maybe up to that bar, maybe right there, wasn't much. And we've only had about an inch and a half of rain, supposedly, maybe a couple of inches. And the gutter filled it up, all the rain that my gutter caught filled it up to there. So that's pretty interesting. It don't take that much rain but when you're collecting over the entire surface area of a roof of a house, which I don't have one on every gutter yet. I got the barrels, I just hadn't got them all set up with the, uh, you know, some type of something to catch the rainwater. Now I'll say this one I got at Walmart, which I heard you can get them at uh, Home Depot and stuff too. Uh, the way it's designed, it will not catch every bit of it, but I came out here while it was raining and it was probably catching 70% of it. Probably more than that. I mean, some of it was going by it, but most of it was going in the, in the barrel. So, it didn't take a whole lot to get it. It's not half full, but it's, uh, let's see. I didn't even see I had a gallon thing on here. Yeah. You probably can't, you maybe can barely see it. Yeah, see, like that's 75 gallons, 100, and it goes all the way up. Well, it says 225 there, so I guess that if it was slam full, it's going up supposedly two, uh, 275. So, like I said, I might have had what is it, 25, 30 gallons in it, and I'd have made over 100 gallons now. Can't believe I didn't notice that before. But anyway, uh, well, with water in it, it makes it stand out better. But so what I did is uh, I had made my own water filtration unit here, um, which all it is is two five-gallon buckets, and I bought this filter. It's a ceramic. What they call a candle filter, uh, yeah, candle filter, uh, and this one has charcoal in it also. I think I paid about 20 bucks for it. What it is is a replacement filter for your big name brand like Berkeley's and Pure One or Pure Water, whatever it is. I, I forget all the names of them. And it's just a replacement filter for them. Uh, let me shop around. I, I, I did a little shopping around before I did this video because I've had it a while. But I think it was. I think you can still find them on Amazon for about 20, 25 bucks. Maybe you know you got to do a little shopping. Anyway, oops, about to drop it. But all I did was uh, yeah, drilled a hole in the bottom of the bucket, and it comes with a little nut, and you just screw it on there. You can see it just slowly drips out and just you can see I didn't do a fancy job I just punched a hole in this other bucket other lid and uh, I didn't put the little spigot in mine you know they sell spigots you can even buy little kits it's got some of the filters are, are short and fat uh, the one I got is just skinny and long or whatever it's just whatever I, I was just going for price but I didn't put the little, get a little spigot for mine because I just didn't want to have to worry about it uh, leaking. Uh, which may not be a problem, but without a hole drilled inside of it, I know it ain't going to leak. So I can just take this off and dip out what I need. 
Uh, <clears throat> but with that filter, I mean, you could take any water, a creek, swamp, whatever, and whatever water comes out, I don't know if you can see it. You see, there's a, you may not be able to see it, but there's a slight oily little residue floating on top. And that's, I'm sure, coming off from the rainwater coming, coming down the shingles, because, you know, they got tar on them. But uh, they sell the whole filter systems. Like I say, you can get the name brand stainless steel ones, and they'll be two to four, five hundred dollars. They'll probably average two fifty, three hundred bucks. But all this costed me was two buckets. I just went to Home Depot or wherever you can get buckets. I've heard people get them free from bakeries and stuff. But I think I paid about five bucks a piece for them. I think the lids were a buck and a half. <laughs> hey, hey, try to make a video. Uh, and I've had this, I come out here earlier, <laughs> and uh, I didn't fill this, didn't fill this bucket all the way up, but I filled it somewhere up in here. And this took it a couple of hours to get, it's maybe like right here now. So, I hadn't used this yet. Push up. Uh, I hadn't used it yet, so I was kind of curious to use it myself, see how long it took. Some stuff I had read, I, I think, I knew it was going to probably take four or five hours for that to drain out. If it was all the way full, it may even take six or seven hours. But, but like I said, with that filter, I mean, it'll even filter out like E. coli bacteria. I mean, it will, it's just so fine, it'll filter out bacteria. So it's not a quick process, but requires no power, no anything, nothing. You just pour water in the top, put your drain down at the bottom, you can drink it. And now if he's using swamp water or something, I don't know how. It's got charcoal in it too, so it may even filter out uh, odors and maybe some kind of a bad taste. I really don't know. Um, but it would be clean. It wouldn't be, uh, I'm assuming it would, the odors and uh, any kind of bad taste too. Um, if it's filtering out bacteria, it should filter out about anything. But Anyway, that's my little uh, emergency water setup. You got my rain barrels. Uh, see, there's other two I still haven't put up yet, but uh, got a good head start though. And um, but you know, just for whatever a tornado comes through, or we have had hurricanes get up this far. I'm in the upstate of South Carolina. Uh, Hugo was the last one, and it, it kind of just, it got Charlotte. It turned and went up right before it got to us. So we got some bad weather out of it, but we didn't get the full force of the hurricane. But, uh, yeah, Charlotte and the lower part of the state was devastated. So uh, <clears throat> even if uh, you have water, but they tell you you got to boil it, you know, which happens a lot. Uh, that can happen just if a main breaks or something in your town. Um, and they may be worried that the water is contaminated. Uh, this will come in handy for that too. I mean, even if you're still getting water out of your tap, you just fill this up, set it there, you know, overnight. You know, do that before you go to bed. Boom, you got five gallons of water uh, to use the next day. So, and uh, if you got a little extra money, you know, maybe you want to do two setups, so you'll have, if you, especially if you got a big family, and um, have plenty of water. Um, <clears throat> but, just kind of testing out my little system here, and like I said, we ain't had hardly any rain, we're in a drought. Um, I'm kind of, kind of surprised. I don't know why. I kind of knew the surface areas. I understand the mechanics of it and all the surface area of the roof, but I got a good 
had to have got about 70, 75 gallons out of that little, I looked at it actually a while ago, it was like 1.2 inches of rain did that. So that's why I say that was in Greenville. I'm a little bit north of Greenville. Maybe I got a little bit more than that. You know, I don't know, but it wasn't a torrential rain by no means. It was just kind of a steady rain. Uh, but anyway, my water barrel, water filter, and as you can see, my little birds is doing well. <laughs> and as usual, see here. Right. What's he over here talking about? We got some bugs for us. <laughs> mm. Anyway, that's it for today. Oh yeah, it's uh the 21st and uh, we're still here. <laughs> Not that I thought it was going to be any different than that, but. <laughs>